Hi, Dan here from GE Inspection Technologies with another uh, installment in our video series on the Mentor EM Eddy Current Instrument. Today we're going to have a look at how to upgrade the software on our Mentor EM. So two essential parts here, the Mentor itself of course and the USB memory stick. Uh, we're actually, there are two ways to install uh, updates on the Mentor. If you have your Mentor connected to a Wi-Fi network uh, with access to the internet, you can have the instrument go out and scan our file server looking for software updates, available software updates. You can download and install those directly to the instrument. Um, the other method is what we're going to follow here today, and that is to download the updates on your PC, put them onto a memory stick, and run the update from there. So the first thing that we need to do is go to our file server for uh, updates, for software updates. Now if you're watching this video on YouTube, uh, similar to the one shown here, if you scroll down and look in the notes that I'm going to place with this video, uh, you'll find a link there. If you click the link, it will take you to our file server from which you can download the, uh, the updates. Uh, if you can zoom in, if you can pause your video and zoom in, there is the URL for the, uh, for the server. So if you click the link in the notes below the video, it should take you to this page. All right, when you get to the page, you'll see one folder. You'll want to drill down into that folder by clicking on the name of the folder. If you click on the folder, it does something else, so click on the name. And here you'll find a list of all of the updates that are available uh, for Mentor. These are all the updates that have been released since the very beginning. Now, if you have one of these first two versions, 1.0 or 1.1, you'll need to download and install the 1.2 release. And then after you've finished that, you can download and install either of the 2.0 releases. Um, it is not possible, the instrument won't recognize 2.0 or 2.01 uh, if you're running 1.1 or 1.0 already. You must be at at least 1.2 to be able to see the, uh, the 2.0 releases. There's a document here for download as well, a mentor update procedure. This is very nice step-by-step -step document. Uh, and it will step you through installing uh, versions after 1.2. Yeah. Everything you need to know, step by step, you can find in this document. So you may want to download and have a read through that document as well. The link to this file is in there, but it's kind of a chicken and egg thing. You need the, the link to get to the file and so on. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to download the 2.01 update, the latest update. All right, and I will clip out uh, a couple of the minute or two that it takes to download this. Our file has fully downloaded. Uh, that actually took a couple of minutes. I'm having a slow internet day today. Uh, the file is about 112 megabytes, I believe, in size, so it does take a, a considerable time for it to download. So now the next step is to take my memory stick. I'm going to bring that over and insert it into my computer. And I will use my file browser to browse to uh, my memory stick and you'll notice I have lots of files in this memory stick that isn't going to hurt anything I have several update files on here for mentor EM again that will not hurt anything either uh, the most important thing to remember is that when you are uh, dragging the update file to the memory stick is to be sure 
to put it in the root directory. You can't put it in one of the subdirectories on the memory stick. It must be in the root of the memory stick. So I just drag the update file over, drop it. It copies to my memory stick. So lots of time spent watching things move and copy here, but it is a sizable file again. Okay. So copy is complete. Now I'm going to gracefully eject the memory stick from my computer. And we'll bring the stick back over. Let's go back to our camera, bring the stick back over. And we're going to put the stick in the USB dry, uh, slot of the Mentor. And at this point, let's bring up our Mentor screen so that we can follow along and see what's going on on the instrument as I go through this. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my settings panel. Then I'll go to settings again. From there, I go to the Updates tab. Okay. Unselect Location. Now, if I was, I have two choices here. If I was connected to Wi-Fi and was going to download the uh, setup directly onto the Mentor from the file server, I would choose NDT Solution Center. The instrument would reach out to the, the server and would look for any available updates. Since I'm installing from the USB stick, I say USB. The instrument reaches out, looks at the available updates, and the one that we just uh, downloaded and added to the stick is the last one that you see here, 2.01-3000.006. At this point, I'm ready to run the update file. When I press update, you'll get a little wait as it examines the file, unpacks it, and when it's all finished unpacking, it will begin the update process. Okay, as we saw, it took several seconds, uh, upwards of a minute actually, uh, this time on my instrument to uh, unpack and begin the update process. Um, when, once the update process begins, you'll see an installation screen like this. Please be patient. Uh, the total uh, update process does take several minutes to complete. Okay. So the update files contain uh, microcontroller code, FPGA design code, uh, operating system, and operating software for the instrument. Um, the updater will keep you posted on what it's working on at the moment and how far along it is. Again, this process takes several minutes, but when the process is complete, the instrument will reboot and you will have the latest version of code. Okay, the instrument has completed its update and as you see, it turned off. So we will give it a moment to, uh, to reboot and get itself back up to speed. And micro. It still has a few files left to move around. But just allow the instrument to go through its process. Don't, uh, don't switch it off or become impatient. The entire update process uh, takes the better part of 10 minutes. Uh, more or less. And that's it. The update process is complete and the instrument is once again ready to run. So if I come back in, let's we'll turn remote desktop on again for a moment so that you can see better uh, what is going on. And once again we have our remote desktop connection. If I go back to version information we can see that we now have uh, version 
3000.006. Uh, that's the latest released version and the one we just downloaded and installed. So again, that's the update process. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, again, look below the, uh, the video panel for the, in, uh, just above the comments section. If you're watching this in YouTube, you'll find the link to get to the updates folder on our file server. And again, you click the link to the name. And here are all the updates and the update procedure document. So again, I'm Dan Groninger for GE Inspection Technologies. Thank you for joining me.